The Confessions of St. Augustine, Chapter 4 Ignorant then how this, your image, should subsist, I should have knocked and proposed the doubt how it was to be believed, not insultingly opposed it, as if believed. Doubt then what to hold for certain, the more sharply gnawed my heart, the more ashamed I was that so long deluded and deceived by the promise of certainties. I had, with childish, childish error and vehemence, prattled of so many uncertainties. For that they were falsehoods became clear to me later. However, I was certain that they were uncertain, and that I had formerly accounted them certain, when, with a blind cons conscientiousness, I accused your Catholic Church, whom I now discovered, not indeed as yet to teach truly, but at least not to teach that for which I had previously censured her. So I was confounded and converted, and I joyed, O oh my God, that the one holy Church, the body of your only Son, wherein the name of Christ had been put upon me as an infant, had no taste for infantine conceits, nor in her sound doctrine maintained any tenet which should confine you, the Creator of all, in space, however great and large, yet bounded everywhere by the limits of a human form. I joyed also that the old scriptures of the law and the prophets were laid before me, not now to be perused with that eye to which before they seemed absurd, when I reviled your holy ones for so thinking, whereas indeed they thought not so, and with joy I heard Ambrose in his sermons to the people, oftentimes most diligently recommend this text for a rule. The letter kills, but the spirit gives life, whilst he drew aside the mystic veil, laying open spiritually what, according to the letter, seemed to teach something and sound, teaching herein nothing that offended me, though he taught what I knew, as not yet, whether it were true. For I kept my heart from assenting to anything, fearing to fall headlong, but by hanging in suspense I was the worst killed. For I wished to be as assured of the things I saw not as I was that seven and three are ten. For I was not so mad as to think that even this could not be comprehended, but I desired to have other things as clear as this, where the things corporeal, which were not present to my senses, or spiritual, whereof I knew not how to conceive, except corporeally. And by believing might have been cured, that so the eyesight of my soul being cleared might in some way be directed to your truth, which abides always, and in no part fails. But as it happens that one who has tried a bad physician fears to trust himself with a good one, so was it with the health of my soul, which could not be healed, but by believing, unless it should believe falsehoods, refused to be cured, resisting your hands who have prepared the medicines of faith and have applied them to the diseases of the whole world, and given unto them so great authority. Chapter 5 Being led, however, from this to prefer the Catholic doctrine, I felt that her proceeding was more unassuming and honest, in that she required to be believed things not demonstrated, whether it was that they could in themselves be demonstrated, but not to certain persons, 
or could not at all be, whereas among the Manichees our credulity was marked by a promise of certain knowledge, and then so many most fabulous and absurd things were imposed to be believed because they could not be demonstrated. When you, O Lord, little by little, with most tender and most merciful hand, touching and composing my heart, did persuade me, considering what innumerable things I believed, which I saw not, nor was present why they were done, as so many things in secular history, so many reports of places and of cities, which I had not seen, so many of friends, so many of physicians, so many continually of other men, which unless we should believe, we should do nothing at all in this life. Lastly, with how unshaken an assurance I believed of what parents I was born, which I could not know, had I not believed upon hearsay, considering all this, you did persuade me, that not they who believed your books, which you have established in so great authority among almost all nations, but they who believed them not were to be blamed, and that they were not to be heard, who should say to me, How, know, how do you know those scriptures to have been imparted unto mankind by the Spirit of the one true and most true God? For this very thing was of all most to be believed, since no consciousness of blasphemous questionings of all that multitude which I had read in the self-contradicting philosophers could wring this belief from me that you are, whatsoever you were, what I knew not, and that the government of human things belongs to you.